This is breaking news now on your side. That breaking news, the long-running secret John Doe investigation into Governor Scott Walker's former aides is over. Charles Benson has the latest. The John Doe has been hanging over Governor Walker like a dark cloud for nearly three years. But now Walker has been vindicated, something he has been saying from the very beginning. Back in November, Governor Walker was already dropping hints that he was hopeful that John Doe would end very soon and that he would not be charged. That's what we've been told repeatedly. Uh, it, my thought is throughout this process of more than two years, if there were bigger concerns, they'd be coming to us about those. The investigation dates back to when Walker was county executive. It was his administration that first raised concerns with the district attorney's office about missing money from a nonprofit veterans group. That led to a conviction of former Walker aide Tim Russell. But the investigation also uncovered problems with two other Walker aides. Darlene Wink and Kelly Reinfleisch were convicted of illegally campaigning on county time. All along, Walker says he was cooperating with investigators, but told me during the recall campaign last year that he felt like he was in a fight with both hands tied behind his back. At that time, he predicted he would be cleared. I maintain a high level of integrity, and I think you'll see at the very end, once this is all completed and finished, that my integrity will still be fully intact. Now, late this morning, Walker issued this statement, quote, I am glad the process has been completed. As many may remember, this entire matter began when we asked the district attorney to look into concerns we had with respect to Operation Freedom. We appreciate the effort that was undertaken and to bring appropriate matters to justice. Now, the DA, John Chisholm, tells me he will have no comment about the decision to end the John Doe investigation. On your side in the newsroom, Charles Benson, today's TMJ4. Charles, thank you. And Charles broke that story this morning. Now that brings us to our sound off question for today. Was the John Doe investigation into Scott Walker effective? We want to hear what you think. Give us a call at the number on your screen or email your comments to soundoff at todaystmj4.com.